Breaking news, expect Russia to maintain its monopoly in the global wheat market. With the second consecutive bumper wheat harvest nearly finished, Russia's position as the world's leading exporter is reinforced, and the global price pressures brought on by Putin's invasion of Ukraine in February last year are eased. Russian Agriculture Minister Dmitry Patrushev raised the country's projected grain output for the 2023-24 season to 135 metric tons, including 90 metric tons of wheat, in a speech last week. A record 104.4 metric tons of wheat was harvested this season, bringing the total grain harvest to a new high of 157.7 metric tons. Despite being higher than the 85 metric tons plugged into the USDA's September global supply and demand grid, the official production projection is still lower than the estimates of Black Sea analyst SOV Econ, 91.6 metric tons, Russian agricultural consultancy IKR, 92 metric tons, and domestic logistics giant Rusagrotrans, 92.9 metric tons. The USDA is still underestimating last year's crop at 90 metric tons, so it will be interesting to see if that forecast is increased in the October update, which is expected to be released later this week. Despite some late-season weather extremes, the Joint Research Center Monitoring Agricultural Resources, JRC Mars, of the European Commission reports that the production outlook for all Russian crops remains intact. According to the most recent Russian bulletin, published on October 2, the average yield per hectare for the wheat crop was 3.15 metric tons t, from a harvest of 28.4 million hectares fma. Compared to the final production estimate of 103.9 metric tons from 29.2 ma and an average yield of 3.56 t slash ha from JRC Mars for 2022-23, this is a decrease of 13.7 pc. The area harvested for winter wheat was only 53.1%, or 15.1 ma, down 9.3% from the previous year, however, with an average yield of 4.22 t slash ha, the projected production of 63.7 metric tons represents 71% of the projected total wheat output. Spring wheat acreage harvested increased by 6.4% from 2022-23 to 13.3 ma, but yield expectations dropped by 18.4% to 1.95 teeth slash ha due to an unseasonably hot and dry finish, leading to a final production estimate of 26 metric tons, down 13% from the previous harvest. Reduction in barley harvests The JRC Mars estimate for Russia's barley harvest is 21.9 metric tons down 4% from the previous season despite a 6.2% increase in harvested area to 8.3 ma. From an average of 2.94 t slash ha in the past, we anticipate a yield decline of 9.9% to 2.65 t slash ha. Spring planting accounts for 91% of the harvested area and 84.6% of the estimated production in Russia's barley matrix in stark contrast to the country's winter wheat. The anticipated average yield of 2.47 t slash ha is 11.2 percentage points higher than in 2022, and the harvested area is predicted to increase by 5.3 percentage points, bringing the total amount of spring barley produced to 18.6 million metric tons, and an estimated 3.4 metric tons will come from the 700,000 hectares of winter barley planted at an average yield of 4.55 t slash ha. The JRC Mars predicts that Russia's corn harvest in 2023 will be 17 metric tons, up 12.1 percent from 2022. While the area harvested increased by only 3.3 percent to 2.6 ma, the yield increased by 8.6% to 6.46 t slash ha. Increased demand for Russian wheat According to the Russian Grain Union, Russian wheat exports hit a new monthly record of 5.8 metric tons in September, and total exports in the first quarter of the 2023-24 marketing year, July-June, are around 15.3 metric tons, which is a 59 pc increase from the same period in 2022-23. to 23. 
In the first three months of the marketing year, Russia has taken 28% of global wheat exports, up from 21% on an annualized basis. For the same time period, total grain exports were 18.2 metric tons, with Egypt being the largest buyer with 2 metric tons, up 9.1 pc from Q1 2022 to 23. With 1.85 metric tons, Turkey was the second largest buyer, down 10.3% from the previous year. Iran fell from first to third with 1.8 metric tons in imports, down from 2.4 metric tons the year before. According to reports, Russia's Black Sea ports shipped out one metric ton of wheat in the week ending October 4, up 30% from the same period in 2022. The top destinations for these exports were Egypt, Bangladesh, and Iran. We anticipate much lower exports in October, at 4.5 metric tons, compared to the 4.9 metric tons recorded in September. In its September supply and demand update, the USDA projected 49 million metric tons empty, of Russian wheat exports for the 2023-24 marketing year. This was an increase of 1 metric ton from August and a rise of 3 metric tons from the previous year. This agrees with the current estimate from SOV Econ, which places the potential for exports at 48.9 metric tons, or 2 metric tons more than the firm's final estimate for 2022-23. Rostat, Russia's national statistics agency, reported last week that the country's wheat stocks on farms were at 28.8 metric tons, down 9% from the same time last year. Stocks hit post-Soviet era highs after last year's harvest, but have since fallen below record levels due to a very successful export program out of the Black Sea and decreased production. Although farm stocks have decreased, they are still 21% above their long-term average.